What's up y'all? Welcome to another gameplay of Destiny 2. If you are a fan of this game, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you are interested in adding this game to your collection or just wondering how I record my gameplays and stream my platinum streams, I got links down in the description below. Alright y'all, let's dig in. So, last time I finished Strider, now I'm gonna grab some bounties from Nimbus. Ready to take on some bounties. And then see how I can fare doing Osiris's uh, mission. It. And it is, I think it's down to the right. Yeah, it's all the way down there. I know how to get there. So let's. Let's do it. I think I know how to get there, don't I? Don't I know how to get there? Uh, yeah, I do know how to get there. I'm just trying to remember. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. I remember. I, I was just, I was lost for a second. I was like, "Where's how you start?" doing that I'm sitting here trying to think well, how do you kind of get there whoops yeah you go through here oh look at the chest money 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 all right so yeah, you can go through here. And meet my old buddies, old pals over here. I don't even know what that is. It's not a strike, is it? I hope not. I hope not. Hold on, let me make sure. No, that's not it. Uh, I don't know what that is. We gonna find out. All right. Do 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 We are going to find out. When I first came through here and I had to fight that shit. That was crazy. Oh, I missed the head. Mm. Let's just be a mission. Nope. Ah, I missed you. Oh, 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 gotcha. So I'm thinking it's up here. Whoop! I know y'all just saw me send your friend into a fiery death. Come on now. Now, okay, so I'm I'm here now. Where am I? Am I here? I thought I was here. 
Oh my gosh, I just did all that for nothing. Whatever. I'm so hot. But it's alright. It happens. It happens. Now I know what to do. Alright. Did I knock out any bounties? No. All right. What happened to music? I just hear quietness. I don't like when it gets too eerie though. That that uh upsets me. It's a lot of stuff I have that I just use. Okay. Where we at? Geoma Essie. Research log. The Veil. I don't even know where to start. When we landed on Neptune, there was... something... waiting for us. An, an alien structure. It's an electromagnetic anomaly. No mass, but... A tangible surface area. It's like a thesis statement to the von Neumann Wigner hypothesis. It's definitely paracausal, like the traveler. Maya calls it the veil. She says she heard the name in a whisper when when she looked at it. When I asked her who whispered, she said it was her own voice. I still haven't had time to process that. Hmm. Everyone on the initial survey team died. The minute they touched the object, they entered a state of... of brain death. All of them. To make it worse, the EM radiation emitting from the veil is causing psychological distress in the exos that came with us. They've all described moments of intense, hallucinogenic reverie. Some of them went silent and rigid and just... stopped. Hmm. Maya called it billboarding. Something from the early days of Clovis Bray's ExoMind project. She doesn't seem afraid or surprised. She's convinced this thing, in her own words, she says, it'll be our salvation. Fascinating. This corroborates what Nezarek said, that the Veil survived Sabathun's escapade. This must have been the root of Sabathun's betrayal. Stalling the witness's plan to buy time to counter hmm. it. So, she stole the veil from Nezarek? And killed him in doing so. It explains what happened to the Lunar Pyramid. Why it's dormant. Then what about the rest of this? What happened to the Exos? Is... is that what happened to all of them? I have some theories, but it, it's too early. Regardless, it sounds like the veil had an ill effect on Dr. Sanderesh. We must be cautious. <laughs> Hopefully the next log we decrypt will shed more light on this enigma. Oh, I can decrypt a nettle? Geoma Essie. Research log. The veil. We shouldn't settle here. It's a mistake. But Maya is insistent that we have to build our long-term shelters near the veil. We're almost done constructing an enclosure around it. Once the field emitters are up, we should at least be safe from its radiation. The Siva tech Maya had on the Exodus was a lifesaver. Not only for building the enclosure, but shelters, tools. We'd be dead without She's it. She's Siva? Hmm. But it still wasn't fast enough. The last XO in our group succumbed to brain death yesterday. Maya's quarantine the bodies for study. She says our next step should be finding a way to draw power from the veil so we're self-sufficient. I'm insisting on turbines instead. But she doesn't think that's good enough. Not for as long term as this might be. Which, I guess. But I can't shake this feeling. Like we're making a terrible mistake. I'm not getting a good vibe from this. Quinn says these records contradict some of her own. But there's a ton of references to Maya Sunderesh in our archives that are redacted. I'm... I'm worried, Osiris. 
What if everything we've been told our whole lives? What if it was all a lie? Don't despair yet, young friend. The truth may be somewhere between these logs and what you've been told in the past. In my experience, history can be contradictory. Regardless, we won't know until we decrypt more of these logs. Alright, let's decrypt some more. Let's listen. Chioma Essie. Incident log. The Vex. Interesting. Six weeks ago, our settlement came under attack by an intrusion of Vex forces. It was a test of our defenses for a larger incursion. Yesterday, scouts discovered temporarily realigned architecture just outside the stronghold limits. The Vex had retroactively inserted themselves into Neptune's history, just like they did on Venus. But unlike Venus, something stopped them short of our habitat. They had to fight their way in. I think it's the Veil. Something about the paracausal nature of the Veil is preventing their temporal excursions. But the Vex aren't giving up. They did something to Neptune's magnetic field. Wove a sim into it. A screen to isolate us. It's a double-edged sword. The Vex screen hides us from the outside world. From whatever's happened. So we're safe. Wish. But we're stuck with the Vex. Thankfully, they're slow to react. It's giving us time to research countermeasures. Hmm. <sighs> it's almost our anniversary. I should do something for Maya. She'll forget. She's always so busy. Computer, prepare food synthesis. File, Geoma Date Night 6. Oh, and add a bottle of port. Osiris? You all right? It, yes, I'm fine. I just uh, saw shadows. My choices. Saint. Dr. Sanderesh and I walked very similar paths of obsession, it seems. Mm -hmm. Oh. And nevertheless, it appears that Neomuna's history is deeply tied to the Vex. Hopefully the next decryption will shed more light on this. Yeah, let's decrypt more. Geoma I'm Essie. nosy. Research log. Exos. Mai and I have built a working theory around the deaths of our Exo crewmates after their exposure to the Veil. According to Maya, Exo mines contain a combination of Vex Radiolaria and something known as Clarity. Radiolaria are alien microorganisms living within a hive mind state. Or, I suppose more accurately, a community. Clarity is... Maya described it as a paracausal power derived from an alien artifact. Something Braytek had kept secret. Something Maya... Maya thinks the Veil and this artifact are related. That the paracausal force from the Veil overloaded their exomines. Unraveled them. It's like taking a powerful magnet to an archaic magnetic storage device. Full erasure. But Maya... She thinks we can reverse engineer this phenomenon. Use it to write data to a clarity-infused object. Fabricate consciousness. Scientifically, the process seems sound, but... Morally... <sighs> Maya keeps saying that we're past the point of morality. She said that. She's convinced that our survival hinges on mastery of the veil. It's like she's the one unraveling. I feel like I'm losing her. But every time I try and push, I feel her move a little further away. I'm... I don't know if I can lose anything else. How much more can any of us lose before there's nothing left? Nimbus, how much do you know about the Cloud Strider's creation? The technology used? You don't think? I, I make no assertions yet. But I worry that your neon lit city may have darker roots than either of us knew. Oh. Hmm. Chioma Essie. Research log. Siva. Uh -oh. Siva is a nanotech fabrication system. 
intended to be used by Exodus ships to rapidly build necessary resources from base matter. Maya calls it Willa Bray's obsession, without a hint of self-awareness. But we... we both see the potential it poses for the future. Each nanomachine in SIVA's design is an independent, thinking machine, utilizing a distributed quantum network to coordinate movement. Like a mechanical version of Radiolaria. Probably where the design was inspired from, if I'm being honest. But the design can be pushed. We're, uh, we're looking at ways of incorporating components from disabled Vex and erased exomines. If we can insulate the nanomachines from the radiation that killed the exos, maybe... Maybe their deaths won't be for nothing. Wait. Does this really mean I'm part Vex? Well, it's too early to jump to these conclusions, Nimbus. But there does seem to be some connection between the Vex and the Cloud Striders. It may explain why you and the others are able to enter the Vex network without the aid of splicers. Can I time travel? <laughs> <laughs> no, let's hope not. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be cool, though. Chioma Essie. Research lock. Veil interface. My and I have finalized a prototype interface for the Veil. Hopefully, it'll allow our research team to investigate it in detail. The system's designed like an orchestra, with a central conductor directing a symphony of minds to act like a distributed network. The idea came to us by watching how collective networks like SIVA and the VEX operate. The hope is we can aggregate and pass the vast amounts of psychic data emitting from the Veil. Turn it into something intelligible. If we're successful, the interface will provide us with a starting point for any future technological research tied to the Veil. The risks of... of such integration are high. The estimated mortality rates are... But I... I... I don't know what I'm doing. This is wrong. This is so wrong. We shouldn't... All she ever talks about is survival. Think big picture. What about your survival? What about your heart? My heart? I can't keep doing this. I can't. I can't. I... Again, I see a shadow of myself in Maya Sandrish. The man I could have become had I let obsession continue to rule me. I'm worried what the next recording will reveal. Ooh. Me too. Let's see. We in it now. Chioma SE. Research log. Veil interface. Supplemental. They're all dead. Chorus. Conductor. Everyone. It was too much. Swept their minds away like... Like grains of sand on a beach. They're all dead. Dang. Maya... Maya called it valuable data points. Wellsprings and rivers are... Something. What have I done? Dang. They... This killed their entire research team, but it sounds like... It's like... Like their lives held no value to Dr. Sunderish. There's a troubling symmetry with data we've recovered from Titan. Data on the origin of the witness. It too was once multiple people that became conjoined by the way of some sort of ritual with a veil. Perhaps a conductor and a chorus. It is troubling that Dr. Sunderish seemed to be moving down that same path. I don't like this, Osiris. I don't like this at all. All right, let's keep going. Tioma Essi. Research lock. Lakshmi 2. What? Myers. I don't even know what to say. 
I'd recused myself from further experiments. Told her to take some time off. She refused. And she... The minute I wasn't there, she started hauling the brain-dead exos out of cold storage. Hooking them up to the Veil interface. She burned through dozens of them. Reversed the entire machine's design. Used a chorus of brain-dead exos to funnel data down to the conductor seat. Projecting a mental imprint. Hers. I... I didn't know Lakshmi too, but Maya did. And now she's... She's made this thing. It speaks with her voice. Has some of her memories. The way it looks at me. It's like it knows something I don't. Osiris, do you recognize that name? Lakshmi? Yes. And no. Lakshmi too was an exo and once leader of a faction on Earth known as the Future War Cult. She died over a year ago. But she never once made mention of any of this. Of Neomuna, of Maya. Did she know? Did she remember? No. This is all as much a revelation to me as it is to you. It throws everything she did while in the last city into question. I mean, with... If she was a copy of Dr. Sundarash, then... Is she really dead? I don't know. For now, I must deliver a rather uncomfortable report to Ikora. Ooh, yeah. Let's keep going. Chioma Essie. Research log. The Veil. She did it. Maya connected people to the Veil. Our own scientists. And they survived. I should be happy, but... Happy that all this horror wasn't for nothing? But I'm not. I'm disgusted. In myself. In Maya. In all of us. This thing, the veil. It's... It's some kind of web of consciousness. Just like the Vex network, but organic instead of artificial. It makes sense why the Vex want it. Paracausal simulations. There'd be no stopping them. I should be happy. To... To be a part of history. To solve a cosmic riddle. Happy for Maya. Happy for all of us. But I'm not. I don't feel anything. Maya is gone. The woman I knew. May as well have died when we landed on Neptune. But her ghost still haunts me. This place. I don't know what to do. There's a generation of children born here now. This is their home. <sighs> I don't know what to do. Damn. Osiris, this is... I don't know if I want to listen to this anymore. Obsession is a beast with long, sharp talons. A beast that does not so easily release its prey. Hmm. Maya Sanderish is but one victim. That sounds like you're talking from experience. Yep. Painfully so. But unlike Dr. Sanderish, I found a way out of the beast's grasp before it was too late. How? By losing. Hmm. Chioma Essie. Personal lock. Incidental. Maya's dead. I found her in the conductor's chair. Alone. Nobody knows what she was doing. Her copy, that thing, Lakshmi, is still developmentally incomplete. It doesn't understand what happened to Maya. I had it quarantined until we can... Until we... 
do something. There's no dates on any of these files. There's no telling how much time is set between them. Time enough for loss. How many are left? Three more. And let us hope there are yet more answers to uncover. Alright. Geoma AC. Log. Whatever. Here we go. The war mind has reactivated. Our base on Hyperion detected network activity. They found us. Classified our location. Nephili Stronghold. We already estimate that Rasputin has attempted remote interference with our network. Our research. It can't. I won't let what we've learned here ruin more lives. I'm going to send Stargazer off-world to... to deal with the problem. They can take Lakshmi with them and... do whatever. As long as it's out of the city, out of my sight. It's a risk, taking an action off-world, exposing ourselves. But we have to. What we've done here has to be quarantined. The Veil is too much power. Too much for anyone. Stargazer. That puts the time of this recording around the foundation of the Cloud Striders. Chioma must have been... really old. Yep. Um, Stargazer is the one responsible for redacting Nephilim's stronghold from Rasputin's records. Or Maya by proxy with Lakshmi. Fascinating. There's two more logs left. Once we've decrypted them, I will need to take time to contemplate the larger picture they present. Alright. You and me both. The Veil is too great a power for humanity to wield responsibly. All that's left is to close down the facility. Neomuna will go on. Humanity will persist on the back of our unspeakable work. But I won't pass that guilt on to humanity's future. My hands can be bloodied. Let the children have innocence. And in my dissolution, I will find peace. I don't know if I agree with Chioma's choice to hide the sins of the past. But I also do not know what I would do in her Exactly. Case. Quinn says there's a data signature on this file like something else was crawling the network. A Vex signature. What's Msund 12? There's one log left to the crypt. Perhaps we'll find out. Alright. Years ago, back on Venus, the Vex simulated copies of us, Maya and I, trapped in a virtual hell. After so long, even hell can look like heaven, can't it? <laughs> I'm tired. I'm done. Maya has to be out there. The Maya I remember. And all I want is one more moment with her. To hold her in my arms. Tell her that I love her. So she can tell me to hush one more time. If... If we learned anything from the Veil, it's that eventually... We all have to learn to let go. So, I made contact with the Vex. I'm ready. And it's time to say goodbye. In the end, Maya Sandarish was consumed by her desire to understand and her... Wait, whoa. <laughs> wow! I'm sitting here just learning things. Now nobody will know the internet. So I should have been moving. Oh well. Alright, let's go back here. And see what they say. She's consumed with her ability to let go. 
And she invited Vex into the network, and Vex is what took her life. Got it. I pretty much understand the end, so I'm not too mad. But dog, go. Oh, I wanted to hear what Nimbus and Osiris said about that. Maybe I will. Let's see. All right. Surprise, they kicked me out because I was hitting square. I wasn't moving, but I was hitting square. I don't know. Neo Muna has a dark past, though, but a lot of things do. Oh, I'm not surprised by that. All right. Uh. Oh, this. Is this what I was supposed to be doing? Hall of Heroes. Now nah, I gotta go in here. Cause this is the Hall of Heroes. So what's in here? Return the meditation table to obtain your next strand aspect. Oh, so it's a strand aspect. So I did right by going to the meditation table. So let's see what's here. With Neomono Civil News, I, Jisoo, Colorado. Accounts across the city indicate the conflict between the Earth Warlords and the invading Cabal Empire has advanced to our fair city. The Vex have taken advantage of the chaos to encroach on the Western Front. Yeah. So let's go here. Fragments, aspects. Uh, uh Acquire. Unveiled. Quest completed. Alright. So. Does that just leave one quest left? Oh, jeez. Alright. Alrighty, that is where we will stop it, folks. Thank you for tuning in today, and I will see you next time with another gameplay of Destiny 2. This is y'all.